Hey YouTube family, this is Francie with Francie's Joy and I am very joyful right now because the day for my job has ended and I have tomorrow off. Oh, it, this is our last little vacation before summer and I'm just elated that I don't have to go to work tomorrow. And actually, my daughter and I have kind of planned a day. We took Saturday off, so we are not cleaning Saturday. It will be my first Saturday off, and I don't even know. I don't even know. I'd have to look at a calendar and count. But, um, yeah, so, and I'm not working Sunday, so this is like my first weekend off, and I don't even know how long. Even when I went camping over spring break, I didn't take the weekend off. I went in between the weekends. I, oh, I'm just so excited <laughs> just to have two days off oh my goodness uh, three days oh my goodness I got three days off so beyond excited beyond excited is what I am so tomorrow we're gonna go to the causeway and just kind of hang out and um, you know pick up shells or whatever and then um, there's a beach market so my daughter wanted to go back to that we've been there I've been there two or three times she's been there once wants to go back and actually there's a tie-dye person I got a tie-dye shirt of a sunset and she has one of a moon one and I wanted it last time but I didn't see it till after I'd already spent money and so sometimes you can't get everything you want so when I go to these things you know I take out a certain amount of cash and that's it so I didn't see the shirt and I'd already spent the cash so there we go so tomorrow should be nice, and um, I'll probably just crochet. Um, I may clean. Did I say I may clean? Uh, I don't want to clean, but you have to. I gotta clean my own place. Um, just really enjoy this weekend. I am so excited. So I hope you all find enjoy. <laughs> Maybe not just because you have a day off, but I'm just. You have no idea. I was so excited. All right. So as far as camping, I don't have anything in the future planned right now. One thing that's a priority with the van, I've got to get that van put in because to go camping in the summer, it's gonna be hot and I need something to get all the hot air out of the van. So if I even go camping this summer, you know, if I end up going to um, Ghana, then no. I'm not going to because it's just it's too much June I have to go to Nashville to be with my family you know and so definitely have to do that and I did think about actually camping up there but I think I'm just gonna stay with my sister that will give me more time with my dad and my mom and you know family and then um, July if I go to Africa well that's gonna be a big trip and to get prepared for and everything like that especially if I'm speaking so that will be my summer and crocheting and working cleaning cleaning yeah trying to make money get bills paid off that's I really got to get things paid off all right so the van yeah I'm driving it so obviously I hear something rattling back here there's always still vibrating, rattling, whatever. Um, the van, the brakes, the brakes were horrible. And you know what? I knew that. I knew the brakes were horrible from the day I bought this thing. And, you know, I've had this for over a year, I believe now. Have I? I think we're coming on a year. I don't remember when I got it. March or April? It was like when we got the last stimulus check. I don't know. That's how long I've had this van. Maybe I'm coming on a year. But um, when I drove it, I knew there was something wrong. And then when I bought it, it was still something going on. And I kept bugging them to figure out what was going wrong with these brakes when I would brake on it. So they fixed something and it stopped doing whatever that one noise was. But... You know, I just always knew there was more to it. And they could have checked the brake pads and all that stuff. But they don't. But you know, that's the thing about buying used cars. So, so of course, all the brake 
pads on four tires, gone. The rotors, four tires, gone. And then he said the calibers. Okay, now I didn't need new calibers, but what he was saying, and I need to research about how brakes work, that would be nice to know, but I guess the calibers are supposed to do something and turn something, but something, they weren't working right. So, they weren't working right, but they didn't need to be replaced. So, four brake pads for a Chevy Express 2500. They're not cheap. It's not like a little car. And then four rotors, you know, times four, times four, and then the labor. Yeah. I will say the parts were more than the labor. I think these people I go to are pretty fair. I think they're pretty honest. Now, I don't want them putting cheap pads on my brakes because you think well you could get cheaper pads and well yeah I probably could get cheap pads but I don't want cheap pads you know I'd rather have a good, nice pad and a nice rotor I you know I sometimes you have to spend a little money you know because it's your safety you know guys it's just okay now did I have the money I'll tell you the total was nine hundred and fifty three dollars Unfortunately, I do not have that thousand dollars sitting in a savings account just waiting to be spent on a car or whatever. Um, so anyway, it's been taken care of, but I've got to get the money. So let's just say that much. Um, so anyway, so I will be working at actually. I had called and talked to my uncle and I was telling him I have to get my brakes fixed and he says I'm going to put a check in the mail tomorrow and I'm like, what? So, I was like, oh my word. So he sent me a little bit um, to help. $900 is a lot of money. So, um, anyway. But a little, every little bit helps, you know. So I'm thankful for that. And he's sending that. And so I'm excited. So anyway, just look this my phone is falling oh, too many bumps too many bumps and the thing I have to hold my phone is not very secure so yeah I saw something where you can hang it from your rear view mirror but my rear view mirror is like way over there I wouldn't be able to reach the phone so that's not gonna work for me all right I just wanted to kind of touch base again um, a really joyful weekend to work I don't have to clean rental homes oh I would be so happy if I didn't have to work two jobs guys and it may be become three jobs and all this but anyway um three days off going to the beach tomorrow going to a craft show why is it nice stopping Things are good. I was able to pay for the brakes, um, but or at least I was given the money to pay for them. But I got to pay that money back. So, um, but it, it'll come. It'll get all it. budget and everything. Oh, and I think I'm going to Hobby Lobby because I still got to make snakes for my students. I tell you, I spend so much money on yarn for these snakes. And that's really, when I think about what do I spend my money on, well, my bills is first and priority. And then my pets, I get their food every payday. Gas, got to get some gas. I don't really go and buy a big grocery run. I don't do that. Um, I kind of figure out what we're going to eat and then base it on that. Um sometimes I have a coupon for a subway to get a foot long for six dollars so you know that's so much cheaper than going and buying groceries for a meal so anyway it just depends if I got good coupons I'll use them and so forth so alrighty it's gonna be a good weekend I hope y'all find enjoy something is vibrating it gets with the vibrations of the van and then it just keeps that wave of vibration going. Anyway. Alright. Um, 
I guess that's all. So I'll talk to y'all in the next video and find some joy and give some joy away too.